Okay, the next tool I'm going to show you is extremely useful. It's uh, the Align and Distribute tools. Um, now I'm going to zoom in on our finished artwork here and show you the um, the louvers up here, which I'm going to use for the example. And also uh, for a basic example, just to get the concept across, I'm going to um, I, I use some basic geometries as I've been doing in previous videos. Uh, I apologise for this that I'm not using, um, I'm, not, I'm not constantly using the artwork that we are focused on the imported original PDF. But some of these concepts are much easier to get um, with some very very basic examples. So I will use that for a few of the introductions to these uh, brand new concepts. In later videos, we'll be able to do some much fancier things once we've got these original um, concepts out of the way. So I'm drawing an ellipse holding down the shift key to get a perfect circle, so it's a circle. Um, I'll press V to get my selection tool and we'll see we've got these two geometries just here. And you say that's great but I want this circle to be sitting in the bottom left hand corner exactly of this square. Now I can just drag it and you'll probably find there you go that the smart guides allowed me to do that. But with numerous geometries and not wanting to fiddle around and say, well, hang on, it's not actually lining up with those two lines, what's going on? We use the align um, toolbar. So you'll see the align toolbar. It's already active. Oh, there it was. It's off the window. Okay, I'll bring it onto the window so you can see it. Um, this one isn't in the essentials toolbar. Uh, you can bring it up and dock it if you want. So if I click on the, the right, you can see can stick it down there. You'll remember from our panels that we can change where these things sit. I'll bring it up here so we can see what we're doing for the moment. Um, so this is the align bar. We have align objects and distribute objects. I'm going to select both of those objects by dragging a marquee around them. And you'll see the little graphics here enable us to do all sorts of things. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Centering, moving to the right, top. Using them in combination will get, into the, get them both into the corner. Okay, I've deleted a few of the louvers up here to um, serve for our example of how of the power of using the align and distribute objects. Um, you can see that each louver is um, an object that I've grouped together. You'll learn about groups in a following um, tutorial, but it's a bunch of lines that I've essentially, if you click, belong to the same selection. Okay, so I'll just undo that. What I want to do now is say, well, in, put three more lines in between these lines at exactly the right height and distribution. So I'm going to go copy, paste, paste another one. There we go. And I'll paste another one. So we've got three of them down there. Now, this is a trick. If I say, well, uh, between that one, I'll hold shift and select that one, that one, that one, and that one, I want them to be aligned up to the top of these two and distributed evenly. I'll start by saying, well, let's align them all to the top of this blue box. So that tool would be the vertical align top align objects tool. You'll see they are all now, if I click off, aligned correctly as per all the other lines in this topic. Now if I select them all again and go to our distribute objects, you'll see horizontal distribute center. It will distribute them evenly, absolutely perfectly. So if I select one of those and go copy paste, copy paste, and then copy paste. We'll need four of them, in fact. So, and they're all below, and I select those four again, each lever. Do exactly the same thing. You'll see the bounding box is exactly the top of the bounding box, which is this blue selection which shows the extent of all our selected objects. I'll go align, vertical align top, and horizontal distribute center, click off, and we have our missing geometries perfectly distributed and aligned.